Hey Adam and Lincoln Auger here from I Love Basketball TV. Welcome to part three of our instant vertical series, okay? When it comes to our vertical jump in our first two videos in our series, we concentrated on our dorsiflexion, right? And our stability through our core. So if you remember, we got in our dorsiflex position where the bottom of our foot's parallel to the ground, and we actually use stabilization to jump off of that foot, rotate under, and catch ourselves without letting that core fall forward, right? So the reason why we do this is no matter whether you're a one foot jumper, or a two foot jumper, in order to jump your highest, uh, you're gonna be able to run, have to jump off of a pretty quick approach, right? When you're running up to dunk, uh, you're gonna have to bring some speed, right? But if you can't control that type of momentum from a standstill, how are you gonna be able to do it from a run, right? So here's a really cool drill that we do. You don't have to start this high. Uh, unfortunately, these are the only cones we have here, because trust me, it's, it's a too early in the morning for me to start this high, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my one foot, and you're going to want to do this with both feet, of course. So uh, maybe go down three or four cones on your right foot, and then back three or four cones on your left. So I'm going to do my right. So I'm going to stick that landing. Notice that core stays tight. Notice I fell a little bit. Then. That's okay if you fall. It's an extremely difficult drill. So what we're going to do is we're going to go again. So we're going to plant. We're going to keep that core tight. Back up. Give yourself some room. Plant the landing. Now if you get better and better at this drill, you can space them out a little bit, and then that puts you in a position for more of a bounce situation. So it's hard, it's hard. You can see it's extremely hard, but you get the idea. So go ahead and add this drill to your workout. It's difficult, I'll tell you right now. I mean, I'm huffing and buffing right now because it's very hard to do. But saying that, three or four cones down, three or four cones back, take plenty of break and rest in between your sets. No more than three or four sets. All right, now, hopefully you like this drill. Hopefully you can use it to get better. I'm gonna go start practicing on it again because I'm looking a little rusty. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Click that like button below. Let us know in the comment section what else you want coming from us. As always, we have a great, great free vertical jump training workout for you. Just click this button right here, give me your email, and I'll fire it over to you. Uh, simple as that, in just a couple minutes. So click that link, and we'll send you your uh, workout in just a sec.